Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a video, some quick tips when you're bleeding your brakes and adjusting your brakes and, and just, you know, you're wrenching on your bike and you want to troubleshoot some things. So I'm not going to go into the whole bleed thing. I, I would watch the park tool um, instructions on how to bleed brakes. That's exactly how I do it. And I rewatch the video all the time. So I've taken my caliper off and um, one of the things I, I do is, you know, I always use the bleed block when I'm bleeding my brakes, but um, I compare my old brake pads. I mean, if my brakes are, if my rotor is not centering right, I know there's a couple things going on. I know my pistons, those are the little pistons inside here. I know, I know they're not retracting all the way and that's causing me to have to recenter them and all that other stuff because they they are supposed to self-center but as your pistons gets pushed further out they don't self-center as much so first you take out your brake pads and look and see how much it's worn and let me get that focus there you should look at the edge right here because there's little metal pieces that go around the edge my god is this focus that go around the edge and when you wear them all the way down that's where it's gonna hit those metal ends of the, the brake pads. And brake pads are ex expensive, but so are rotors. So here's the new set, and you can see the difference. Um, so I know I needed to replace pads just by look, I look at the edge right here is where I compare mine. So then after you look at your edge, you, um, and I'm using these, these Shimano brake pads for reference. Um, on my XTR brakes, the N03A. So after I um, re, um, bleed the brakes and I'm gonna put new brake pads, I wanna make sure I can get this adjustable and centered in here. So what I do, a lot of times there, it's, there's barely any room to fit your screw in there. What I, let me show it to you. So I got my screw here and I always have a screw with a little beveled end washer. And when I when you put your screw in there, it should slip in there easily like that. It should be it should be able to be slipping in and slipping out. If it's really tough and and sticking in there, I suggest you get a, a rat tail file and you hone that out a little bit because that's going to affect when you're tightening it down. That's going to move that that caliper a little bit over to one side and it's gonna mess up your trying to center your, your brakes and all that other stuff. So that's my tip of the day, is when you um, are trying to center your brakes and, and keep them rubbing on the rotor, get a rat tail file and, and hone that out a little bit, this, this out a little bit, and that's gonna help you to be able to adjust it and center it a little bit better. And that's just my quick tip of the day. I, I know this has been a long video, but I wanted to show that to you because I know a lot of people struggle with getting their brakes um, centered or even, I mean, bleeding brakes is not that hard either, but a lot of people um, struggle with brake adjustment. And that's just my tip for that. Thanks for watching.